If you want to sleep late on Saturday morning and you don't want the Jehovah's Witnesses waking you up, <laughs> Friday night, before you go to bed, get a piece of chalk, draw an outline of a human body outside your front door, <laughs> then throw some religious pamphlets out around it. <laughs> sleep till noon if you want to. I used to sleep till noon when I was single. I didn't like being single. It, too tough. Dating was tough. A any guys ever, ever go out with a girl that forgot to tell you she had a boyfriend? <laughs> That's information you need, yeah? This happened to me. I went out with this girl. And we had a good time. We went out to dinner, and then after dinner, we came back to my apartment. We'd been at my place about half an hour when there was a knock on my front door. I walked out, opened the door. There's this 250-pound guy staring at me going, what the hell you think you're doing with her? I looked him right in the eyes and I said, I'm cutting her damn hair and you're just gonna have to wait, all right? <laughs> Called save your own tail there, boy. <laughs> Single people always have the best sex stories too, don't they? And we know this because they share them with everybody. You know the people, you see them in the break room at work, they always got a crowd gathered around. So there I was, <laughs> tied up to her bed, had motor oil smeared all over my body. She came in the bedroom with a saddle and a set of jumper cables. <laughs> See, married people just can't compete with this. Like, what are we gonna come back with? Well, you know, last night, Marge was vacuuming in her good robe. <laughs> She bent down to get underneath the sofa. I thought, hell, I can watch Bonanza anytime. <laughs> it just doesn't hold up. Sometimes we talk about this stuff. Some people say, Jeff, I'm not single and I'm not married, I'm divorced. Now, to me, being divorced is the same as being single, except you don't have as much furniture. <laughs> my, dad, my dad's been divorced four times, honest to God. His house looks like this. <laughs> he doesn't have squat left. Huh? U-Haul sends him Christmas cards. <laughs> and it's his fault he keeps getting remarried. And each wife is like 10 years younger than the one he just divorced. Now, he got married last year. I had to take his wife to school in the morning. You know? <laughs> Look both ways, Mom. <laughs> and their wedding was weird. Her matron of honor was her imaginary friend, Emily. <laughs> She's a good cook, though. She got that easy bake oven. And uh, last night we had cakes the size of quarters. I love those. <laughs> I'm a married man myself. I love being married. I love my wife to death. I love women. I don't understand everything about them yet, but I love them. Like, I don't understand why is it when a woman gets in the bed, the temperature of her feet and butt drop to below freezing? <laughs> outside that butt is ice cold <laughs> and want to put it on you it's like snuggling with a butterball turkey <laughs> honest to god i can lick my hand put it on my wife's butt it'll stick you know? <laughs> i've learned this women care more about their appearance than men don't they guys well, you, you, you never see like a, a, a guy picking up his buddy to go fishing at five o'clock in the morning going, damn, Bill, you ain't gonna wear that shirt with them shoes, are you? It's after Labor Day for crying out loud. <laughs> Women care more about smell than men. My wife's always asked me, do I smell good? You like the way I smell? I mean, hell, if men have an odor, it's usually an accident. Yeah, <laughs> Charles, what is that intoxicating fragrance? <laughs> no, that's Michelob. I hit a bump in a truck. <laughs> men and women both care about smell, but women go to trouble to smell good, you know? Men are more like, hey, does this stink too bad to wear one more time? <laughs> Maybe I should put it in the dryer. <laughs> men love that dryer, don't we? And hey, we'll find a shirt in the sewer, put it in the dryer. <laughs> That's the gun ready to go right there. Thank you very much. You guys have been great. I hope you see you again.